Today I'm going to offer you some, uh, at least one good reason why you might believe in a creator, uh, especially if you've grown up with the idea or become accustomed to the idea of, of uh, evolution and perhaps the idea that maybe evolution eliminates the need for, for God. Um, this is not going to be necessarily a proof that there is a God, but, but just an, I'm going to offer you an opportunity to think about the make it possible that there is a God. Uh, it will be, this is, it's really beyond what I'm trying to do to, to prove that there is a God using this. Anyway, in physics there's this idea called Planck time. Planck time is th the theoretical shortest uh, measurement of time, the sh shortest observable unit of time. It's 10 to the negative 30 second of a, of a uh, of a second, uh, which means it's point zero zero zero. There's thirty six zeros one, uh, which is infinitesimally small. And theoretically, you can you could observe this this moment of or this uh, measure of time. Uh, and at, at the uh, beginning of the universe, which I'll call the creation, uh, we would have nothing, nothing. Uh, and if you want to think about that, what is nothing and where is nothing? Uh, our minds are almost uh, inept at, at conceiving something that's beyond what, what we understand. And, and what was before the creation or before the beginning of the universe uh, is hard for us to understand because we, we think in terms of, of time and space and before the before the beginning of the universe, there would be neither time nor space, and so at at zero Planck time, at the at the moment of creation, there would be nothing. Then ten to the ne the next uh, unit of Planck time, which would be ten to the negative thirty seventh of a second, there would be all the matter. It would instantaneously instantaneously appear. Uh, how that would happen? Uh, my, my, what I submit to you is that it was a creator. It was a, a being of infinite wisdom and, and power that, that spoke this, uh, this creation into being. Um, and, and I, there's nothing in science that, that can possibly account for anything else. Uh, there is no, there is no, no, uh, scientific evidence for something coming out of nothing and we never in human experience think of that uh, we don't sit in our bed in our living room going wow I hope that that an elephant doesn't show up tonight just poof out of nothing uh, that's not that's not part of our human experience is is to, uh, to see not something come from nothing uh, and the only way I can think of the only reasonable way that I can think of that something came out of nothing is that it came at the will of the Creator. And so that's my thought for today. And uh, um, so if you've, if this has been thought provoking, please share this with other people. Thank you.